Right, so far so good. Let's check it in here. Still in the hotel. My stuff's still there. I've not been asked to move, and the time is 15 minutes past two. I haven't slept a wink, but at least I'm warm. 2:26 a.m. 4:08 a.m. And last but not least, 8:18 a.m. And it's obviously light outside now. <sighs> Honestly, I have not slept at all. It's just been broken sleep all night. Kept waking up. I'm so tired. Every time I get no sleep on these challenges, in the mornings I'm just like, spa day. And today ain't no different to any other day. So I'm gonna go and try and get some breakfast somewhere. Then we're gonna scope out somewhere with a pool so we can just chill out and have a bit of a nap. So first stop's breakfast. I'm not gonna go here though because I've spent all night here and I'm gonna try somewhere else. The weather doesn't look too tricky today. I think it's poured down overnight. Right, first try for breakfast. Thank you very much, have a nice day. Cheers, bye. That breakfast sorted me right out. It wasn't the usual traditional English breakfast, but it was good. Bagels, cheese, coffee, juice, but they had no ketchup. Who doesn't have ketchup? To be fair, it was probably the easiest breakfast I've ever had as well. They weren't even asking names, it was literally just help yourself. So I'm just looking on my phone for hotels that have got indoor pools in the area. I need to find like a sun lounge so I can just have a nap on it, I'm shattered. At the minute, I am under the Berlin Needle, which is there in the clouds. According to my phone, there's a few hotels literally down this road that have got indoor pools. So I'll see which one I like and I'll give it a go. So I'm coming to the first hotel now that's got a pool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll give it a go in here first. You can advise me where the pool is at all. The pool? Yeah. Downstairs. Downstairs. How far downstairs? This is it just the one below? Yeah. Cool. Thank you very much. Wellness. Right, so the pool's on the bottom floor apparently. Let's check it out. Is the pool on this level? Yes. <laughs> Thanks. So the pool's on the floor below ground. I was hoping it was going to be on the top. Oh, you need a key to get in. Press that button, see what it does. Hi, how are you? Um, I've just come to check out the facilities. Um, you've got the pool here. What else have you? Have you got a sauna and steam room downstairs? No, we only have the sauna, Finnish sauna and bio sauna. Ah, okay. And where's the men's changing rooms? Around the corner. Yeah. It's what, sorry, I am, yes. Yes? Yeah. Because you can open the door with your card. Oh, I didn't see it. It was all dark in there, so. There is still dark? Uh, yeah, it's all dark in there. Okay. okay. Yeah, so, like the hotel guests, you can use this area. We have here the swimming pool. Okay, cool. In the yellow box is a little gym. Yeah. Gym is open 24 hours. Okay, so cool. So, you can just come down all the time. Yeah. Around the corner, the changing rooms and the spa area with the two saunas. The ah, okay, two cool. So, that's just over there, is it? or? Yes. Nice. I'll have a look around anyway, so cool. Thank you very much for your help. Thank you. Right, so far so good. Let's check it in here. This is like the spa room, I'm guessing. It's through here. That's the pool. It's a nice pool, to be fair. And then you've got the gym through there. Do you have any robes at all? Sure. Ah, thank you very much.
That's great. So if you go into the sauna, the sauna is naked place. Ah, okay, yeah. yeah. Without shorts. Okay. And uh, when you go swim, then with shorts. So yeah, yeah. You can I won't be swimming naked, don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> That's how people do it. Oh, do they? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? So you can cover yourself with the... With okay, the cool. That's yeah. great. Thank you so much for this. You're welcome. Thank you. We have done it again. I'm telling you, when you've had no sleep, these spa days do knock it all. So here I've got my slippers, my robe, and two towels. Time to catch up on some sleep. As I'm walking out, I've seen these things. Obviously, they're to clean your feet. I've just never seen them in a spa before. Let's give them a go. Cheers, thank you very much. Am I to grab an apple, is that okay? Yeah. Ah, thank you. Cheers, thanks, have a nice evening. Right, let me just get out of here. Wow, it is absolutely freezing outside now. I'm just gonna find somewhere to sit down. I'm just thinking these challenges are only gonna get colder and colder now until Christmas. I've not planned that very well. That spa sorted me right out. I slept in there for like four hours I think I got, so I'm feeling a lot fresher than what I was. And all that breakfast I had this morning filled me up. Plus I've just added those two apples to it, so food-wise I should be good for today. Two things I wanted to do now. One was to get the droner so I could get the cathedral in and like get the river, but as you can see it's dead like misty and foggy and it's getting dark, so I don't think that's gonna happen. And secondly, I wanted to do an Instagram live, but again, there's like noise about the 3G's not the greatest. So we're gonna do a Q&A instead. Right, first question comes from Jake Iston. What's been your highlight of your year so far? Such a tough one because there is so many, but the one that keeps popping up is the America Challenge, just because of the scale of it and how big it was. Elliot Hick, will you ever do a challenge in America again? A hundred percent. Zane, why did you move to Manchester and when will you do a challenge there? So the reason I moved to Manchester was all my friends and family are up north. I needed to be close to an airport, but I also wanted to get to London easier. Manchester just ticked all them three boxes. And will I do a challenge there? I probably won't do one solely there. Well, maybe. I don't know. I've got no plans to do one in Manchester. Tom Hampson, what's Berlin like? Berlin is a sick place. It's a cheap flight from Manchester. It's an hour and a half, I think it was. Really clean. Architecture's great. Loads of history. Highly recommend it. Anastasia Lucia, I'm sorry if I've said that wrong. What weird food combinations do you really enjoy? Ooh, I like ketchup on a lot of things, as you already know. I love ketchup on toast. Ketchup on toast is the one. Try it, you won't be disappointed. Carl Needham, do you ever worry about being mugged? And which was the worst place you thought it may happen? I don't really worry about it, to be honest. But the only time that I have sort of been alert to it was when I was like in the hood in Orlando. Like that was scary because like people were looking at me, coming up to me and yeah, it was a rough place. But touch wood, it hasn't happened and it won't. Chloe Wen, what's it like traveling by yourself? Great question, Chloe. My answer to that is there's something really special about traveling by yourself. I swear Way down five years ago, I would have never have traveled anywhere by myself. I'd have thought I want to enjoy that with somebody, I want to go somewhere with somebody and share that experience. But honestly, I love traveling by myself. You get more experiences, it helps you grow, and yeah, try it. And last but not least, Roberto Esuman, will you ever come to Italy? Maybe next week. I hope you enjoyed the QA because I'm going to be doing more QAs and Instagram lives as the challenges go on. If you've not got me on Instagram, Simon J. Wills is the same on Twitter too. Thank you very much for everybody's questions, it means a lot. Right, now the plan, it is freezing and it is getting dark. Camera doesn't do it too much justice, but as you can see, all the car lights are on. I am now gonna find a Starbucks, I'm gonna use their Wi-Fi and try and sort out some accommodation for tonight. Can I just grab a water if that's okay? Yeah. Thank you very much. Cheers, thank you very much. Thank you. Right, update, so I am on Tinder and Bumble, speaking to a few people, but nothing set in stone. 
everybody's declined on couch surfing, so that's 100% no. On another note, I've been speaking to a few subs who are actually based in Berlin, and they're around about now, so we could be catching up with anyone any minute. Hey, how are you, mate? You right? You? Yeah, yeah, nice to meet you. As I, yeah? Yeah. Ah, nice one. Mate, no help at all. Right. To be fair, though, I have eaten, so it's not too bad. Mick, how's it going? How are you, nice mate? You. Yeah, nice. Yeah. This is Azar. Hi. Azar. Nice to meet you. Einstein, Einstein Coffee. Coffee. Yeah, like Einstein, ah, okay. yeah. Oh, okay, and it's, cool. it's kind of like Starbucks only in the, the German. German thing. Yeah, yeah definitely. We'll go there. I wish I could take you up on a coffee, but... It's so <laughs> The vlog's gone a bit west because we caught up and we've literally been chatting for three hours. We're just going to go and scope out a couple of hostels where I'm going to stay tonight. But before we check them out, let me introduce you properly. This is Mick. Hey. Mick's half German, half American. Zars from Lyon when I went through on the Europe trip. That train from Lyon down to Mont Montpellier. Yeah, exactly. That oh, that was yeah. a scary <laughs> train. That right. We're coming to the first hostel now. 180. What do you think the chances were this, mate? I think we'll do it. Mate. Yeah, good. What yeah. do you think, Mick? I think, I mean, if we It looks pretty them. big, actually. Uh, right, so we're in the hostel. We've just been invited on a bar crawl. How many bars are you going to? Three bars and one club. And apparently those guys don't want to go. So uh, I'm a bit sad I need to drink. We're, we're on a budget, you see, mate. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, mate. Have a good one on the pub crawl. Yeah. Right, we're getting some hits on Tinder. Come on, Mick, take it away, mate. My fate of where I'm sleeping tonight is in your hands. It's looking good. I mean, the running back, so maybe... <laughs> Maybe you'll have someone to stay. <laughs> what are you on now, Tinder? Mm, Tinder right now, I'm writing Melissa. She's not far away. How far is she? Six miles from here, so that's not Me, far. I can't be walking six miles. How's the swiping going? It's all right. Have we had any luck yet? Uh, not yet. Keep swiping, mate. Great to meet you guys. Yeah, you too. Have a good yeah, one. Enjoy your night, guys. Thank Before we leave, what is the situation with my Tinder? Have you got anybody for me yet, or oh, what? Dude, I know the situation oh. with your Tinder. <laughs> Enjoy the pub crawl. <laughs> you guys as well. Well, you guys are going on the crawl, so you Mate, if I had money, I would be coming on hey, it. Hey, don't even worry about it. <laughs> Have a good one. Right, we're quickly finding out that Mick is a massive party animal. Is that? <laughs> what is he like? He wants to get right on it. There's a really, really funny street called... Have you Dan heard this? He wants to go in every club <laughs> in Berlin tonight. Of course, I mean, it's Berlin. It's time to party. Mate, you need to come to Manchester for a night yeah, out. definitely. This guy would rip the UK off. <laughs> Right, we've been walking for a bit now. Mick has still not gone into a nightclub. And he's ruined my chances on Tinder. The reason that I am on the streets tonight is because of this guy. It's my fault. Mate, you ruined it's my, my Tinder sorry. connections. So the time now is three minutes past midnight. And you guys are off home? Yeah. Are you literally just getting the train here? Yeah, exactly. Mate, yeah. Hey. lovely to meet you, Mick. Yeah, mate, Likewise. top guy, top guy. Anything and mate, go Berlin? easy on these clubs in Berlin, mate. Get somewhere safe. Yeah, I'm just going to try a couple of hostels, I think. Yeah. There's a few about, isn't there? So just see if I can crash at anyone, get some broken sleep again. Safe journey. Lovely to meet you guys. See you later. What? a great pair of guys literally spent all night with them all night since about 5 p.m. and it's gone midnight never met them in my life before never spoke to them in my life before and then you just spend all night with them and just have a proper good laugh I also want to point out that they didn't know each other either they've never spoke to each other in their life and that example there is one of the main reasons I love traveling and love making videos because it's the people you meet who make the experience and now for the hard bit trying to find somewhere to sleep in the freezing cold and it's gone midnight so I'm just looking on Google map and there's a fair few hostels down here so I'm just gonna see which ones there are and just give them a go I would honestly settle for the same situation I had last night just so I can get out of this cold and just be able to sit down and rest my feet right according to Google Maps there's one coming up on the left here oh, cheers mate thank you Right, so this chair is there, but I feel it's a bit too open. Right, so this is like the basement now. There's more chairs there, so I can sit there. But there's also this bench here. Right, I'm gonna end the vlog there. The time now is 
five to one in the morning, fingers crossed, I can see the night out here and get a few hours sleep in the process. Thank you so much for all the comments and all the support. It really means a lot. And thanks for the questions today. I'm going to be doing more. So my Instagram and Twitter is Simon J. Wilts, and I'll see you tomorrow.